Hey guys, this is going to be a quick one. Dick Morris is a prominent old school American political consultant. He's an author and a commentator. He's known for his involvement in both the Democratic and Republican Party's politics. Now, early in his career, he worked with Democrats. In fact, he was the guy who came up with the strategy that helped Bill Clinton get reelected. He said he took the job because they made him a monetary offer he just couldn't refuse. Now, the strategy he came up with was called triangulation, and that's where they made it seem that the Democrats and the Republicans were controlled by the most radical elements of their parties, and only Bill could resolve the problems. And it worked. Now, after the work he did for Clinton, he worked exclusively for Republicans the rest of his career. He has been a frequent commentator on political shows. Uh, he's written several books on politics. I've read them, and he contributed to various news outlets, often providing conservative perspectives. But in recent years, Morris has continued his role as a political commentator and an author, often appearing on conservative media platforms and writing about contemporary political issues. The thing to remember about Dick Morris is that no matter who he worked for, he somehow always had the pulse of what was really going on in the political arena of ideas. And that's why I think this short video clip is really interesting. It's Morris is speaking with Governor Mike Huckabee about Joe Biden's crooked career as a man who sold out first his constituents and then the country. Let's give it a watch. When people say, oh, there's no evidence. Joe Biden, there's no evidence that he's done anything wrong. Yeah, what well, would you say to that? I would say to myself, I'd start with the fact that when he left the vice presidency, he was hired by the University of Pennsylvania at a salary of a million dollars a year to preside over the Biden Institute for Global Engagement. Uh. Never taught a class, never showed up on campus. And then it turned out that that, that program was funded with $54 million of anonymous donations from China. China. From China. So, and, and he hired among his staff uh, the future Secretary of State Blinken and nine other people on the payroll of that institute who are now on the national security team. So China funded the a farm team, essentially, for the Biden administration, and the president of the United States was on the payroll of China for four years and Unreal. made several million dollars from it. When he left the Senate, his net worth was $29,000, which means he was wow. either honest or dumb. <laughs> now when he entered the presidency his net worth was over 10 million and all of that came from bribery and all of that came from bribery and yet we still have pinheads on the left who say there's no evidence that joe biden did anything wrong what they're saying is there's no evidence that he was involved in hunter's business they're not saying there's no evidence he did something wrong they're saying there's just no evidence that he got involved in Hunter's business, even though the House Republicans have obtained a plethora of evidence. All right, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share our videos with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. One, two, three, your attention's all I need. Four, five, six, don't let it slip. I don't have any favorites. Give me any